Right then, the only thing I can notice right over there are a herd of goats, flocks of goats. I can't see any cows here, so those cows must be concentrating down in that area that I seen where the bracken is. There's a good chance I'll bump into them on the way back, but so I won't be going back the exact way I came. <laughs> Anyway, I was getting over that stile and the camera dropped. It landed in the grass, but it then said to me that it had to recover the data because of the, it had a jolt, I think. Then it told me I needed to put another battery in, so I'd done that. I tried putting the other memory card in case I lost the stuff I'd already done, but it told me no, I needed to put it back in so it could, because uh, it's all connected up to Sony, my um, camera. Anyway, uh, it's now got the new battery, the other one's on charge already. I've connected it up and charging it. Uh, um, it's regional memory card because the memory card usually lasts most of my walks. I'm a little bit wheezy, I noticed, <coughs> just then, but I am allergic to grass, believe it or not. But, and I've just put, um, I've been bitten by a a horse fly. I caught him in time, but I've just put some antihistamine cream on that. <sighs> and I've just applied protective skin cream on my nose, forehead, ears, and neck. Because even though it's a bit cloudy, it is summer, and uh, I have, you can burn. So I plastered myself with that because I've got a lot, a lot of my walking now for several hours is going to be exposed like this, walking through this beautiful field, the field that I can think of if I can't sleep, I can think of walking across here. That's how I get to sleep sometimes. I'm either walking around my old house, which I miss still, even after we left it 15 years ago. I still miss it. But I can still take myself around all the rooms, down in the garden. I can, I've got memories of my children when they were small, when we lived there, and they were growing up to teenagers. We had some good times there. I love that house, actually. But uh, like a lot of people, life attacks you at times. But I still have my good memories of it, and I often use them to help me sleep if I do. I'm, I'm usually quite a good sleeper, actually, but when there's issues going on or events that are a bit worrying, I can sometimes uh, need a bit of dreaming type thoughts to get me off. I don't, I, put, I don't take sleeping pills or anything like that. I'm not, I haven't got that problem. But uh, I've noticed I have to have antihistamine sometimes because when the hay fever is really bad or something sparks me off um, for a, like a type of asthma attack, I take an antihistamine. And uh, even when you're out walking, if I had a big bite now, it won't affect me right away for making me feel tired, but it will later when I get home, I sleep like a log. But uh, the antihistamine will work on my immune system when I've been bitten, because I've had some really, really nasty horse bites before. Horsefly bites. They're all flying about me now. Um, I did get the very, 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 very rarely um, I put on pesticide spray around my ankles usually, just round, not on my flesh. Sometimes that's enough. Just one little squirt, just on the shoulder or something like that, it does work. But I didn't bring that with me and I didn't use it today. But I had thought of it. There's a lot of hungry insects out here. <sighs> yeah. 
course, if I was going to Longworth, because there's no cows, I could have walked a lovely walk, which I might do on the way back, actually. When I come for... Actually, I might do that on the way back. Instead of coming this way, because I'm going right round there, near the masts, but not as far as the masts. Then I'm going to go through... I might not go in Longwood. I might skirt Longwood. It depends if cows are in the fields. Then I might come up across there. I haven't seen any cows, so... I've got a couple of escape routes I know, though. Anyway, people say, oh, Sheila, you're always talking. You, you know, well, you don't have to listen. That's what I say. These are visual diaries. It's easier than writing everything down. And you get pictures as well. Obviously, very personal stuff. I still talk about them, but I don't, I don't share them. If there's anything really personal, I haven't really got anything that personal. But I, I don't share things when I'm talking about my family or anything. Uh, you know, if there was a wedding or a birthday, I might say, oh, happy birthday. I might do something like that. But no, I wouldn't discuss any of my lives of my friends and family exactly not um, anything that's very private I wouldn't know I sometimes sort of share emotions if I'm feeling sad about something or angry yeah I might express that in, what, in some way or another right now I'm expecting this lane see that bog there from grass clippings this lane can sometimes be extremely boggy but that's only where the grass is swept down and there's been a bit of water there so this is Piney Sites Farm folks that I talk about a lot it's a big reference point for my walks here's a junction point for a lot of my walks on the Mendips and many of you who followed me we know that I'm coming up to two stiles and a lovely big tree in a minute, which I always say hello to. But I'm going to turn off for a little while now, everyone. Actually, I might not come on for a little while, because all of you know this bit. Over now. Might be jumpy. I'm holding one hand. Got the stick with the other hand. Right, let me just put you on there a minute. I'm going to put the stick away. I'm going to put the stick away. Pine your slides. It's easier to hold with two hands. I can keep the camera still. My daughter's, one of my daughters has bought me a, a stick for holding the camera on. She said it might stop it being jumpy. I don't know though. No, I don't really want a stick pointing at me though. Maybe I'd have face it the other way. I don't know. I'm going to try it out in my local wood and see what, is, what happens. Right, all I'm thinking about now is I'm going up this Piney Sites Drive. There's the farm back there. And I'm just thinking to myself, will those cows be in that field that I've got to go? Because if they are and I'm worried, I'll have to backtrack, carry on down this road, either go into sheep field, which I don't want to do because I don't want to do Longwood that way. Um and go on to the, a B road and walk along the B road just for a short while uh, until I get to Tiny's Farm that way. That's the alternative. If there's going to be cows. Right over there. The aerial mass that I passed the other week. See them? I'm being bitten right, left and centre by horse voice at the moment. 
So they're, set, they're over there. Area of Outstanding Beauty is up there. My plan is to go over the, the parade route after I've climbed up those whole awful rocky lane onto the area of Outstanding Beauty from Tiny's Farm. I want to go down the procession route and follow the lower path. Now the only thing I'm worried about with doing that, because we've had a lot of rain, there are some quite dried up streams in the last couple of years. They really need water. It'd uh, be interesting going on there, but I'm expecting it to be very squelchy. Another landmark for you lot. Those that follow. Those trees over there. Roberro Warren. And not long, a couple of weeks ago, I was, I was over by that tree, which is a different tree to the one back there, where I had to bypass the cows that were in a field up here. I mean, at the time, I only saw two, but the, I, it's rare you only have two cows in a field. So I was thinking there was more up this end. So I did a diversion. I'm going to want to go that way, though. So the idea is to go that way, then go up the track, go along the top, not as far as the aerials, come down across some fields, either go through Longwood or skirt it, come back across the fields here and back to Cheddar. That's the plan. That's plan A. I'm just hoping I've got enough time. I've got um, at least six hours. It's taken me an hour and a half to get here to this stage. So I, did, I didn't plan to climb up. That was plan B to do the quarry route. I keep hearing the helicopter hovering all the time over there. It's been hovering for ages. I don't know if there was an accident. I did hear the siren by the quarry. Um, now that's either because the quarry was going to blow, you know, have some uh, dynamite and blow up some of it. Or someone's got injured. It's been hovering there for ages, that helicopter. I'm just going to zoom into him. I don't know what sort of helicopter it is. I don't even know if I'd be able to get it. There it is there. It's a Chinook, by the way. They've been doing a lot of flying round here lately, the Chinooks. It's gone in a cloud. It's a Chinook. Maybe... Some of the government are having a look round here where they can start doing some mining or something. Now I see lots of sheep in my field that I've got across. Over right, back on. Do you know, I don't I don't often do it in reverse actually. This is um, why I wanted to do it today. I'm just hoping the cows aren't up the top because I have to cross this big field. At the moment, I can only see sheep. Anyway, forgot to say, I haven't said so far. England beat Denmark in the semi final. It's the first time for 55 years that England. Have uh, won someone in the semi final, and in 1966 we won the World Cup. A lot of people, are young people now, obviously weren't there, but I, I remember it. I remember that when we won that, and uh, my mum was still alive actually. My mum was still alive then. She died that year, 1966. My mum died that year. She died 
Boxing Day, 1966. Yes, yeah, the first time I felt a bit breathless for a long time. But I do put it down to all the grass. I just haven't noticed. There's Long Sheep Field. It's a possibility I'll come through there later. It depends on time. I mean, already I'm a bit worried that I'm, it's taking me this long to get over here. Because normally, once I get up there, I have to say, time to turn back. Two or past, it's time to turn back, you see. Well, we just got to keep our fingers crossed those cows aren't at the top here. So this is another long fill, but not as long as the, the one over there. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a hickledy pickledy walk if I see the cows and I have to turn back. because so I'll have to follow the track down there. Bloody flies. Should have brought the the spray, really. Because you only gotta put a little bit on your shirt sleeve uh, and they keep away and round your ankles on your trousers, not on your skin. I think I managed to disturb one. He was just starting to put his scalpel into my skin and uh, I managed to free myself from him. Yeah, my breathing's been really good um, up until today. Well, it's been alright, but I just feel a little bit more tight than I have done for several weeks. Let me just zoom in. That's one good thing about having the viewfinder. There's the gate I've got to get to. But the cows were down, they were down the side. Might have just been a one off. Might have been a one off. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I, I mean, I've still got pretty good long sight, but. <sighs> there's that. Uh, there's the Piney Sight's big tree, but that one there is so grand. That one over there, I love that tree. I'm going to turn off and take a picture of it over and out.